Hello there. Hi. How are you? Hello everyone. A little late night scope tonight. Hi. How are you? Happy summer. <laughs> Happy summer everybody. Good evening to you. Good evening. Happy summer. To all of the um, Wonder Women that uh, posted their earrings on my Angela Martin page. Thank you for that. I really wanted my page full of women with those earrings on. And you guys uh, really, really blessed me when you did that. Hey, Robin, how are you, dear? Hey, I have more money than I've ever had in my life. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, continue to confess that. Continue to do it. I have more money than I've ever had in my life. Yes, Lord. If you want to know the origin of that and why uh, when people come on my scope, this is how we greet each other. Just go to my face, my um uh, website. Go to wonderfulprayer.com, O-N-E-D-E-R-F-U-L-P-R-A-Y-E-R, -E -E wonderfulprayer.com. Click the videos and you can see it. Yes, new season, more money. There you go. So I want you to do that. Go to the website, wonderfulprayer.com, if you want to know who I am, Angela Martin, if you're new to the scope tonight. You can check that out. My bio is there. You'll see my team, the dancers at Wonderful Prayer. As I said, click the videos. You can see the women in prayer and in worship. And uh, you can just see how it goes. It's for women only. Wonderful prayer every first Saturday of the month. Our next prayer meeting will be on July 2nd. That's the weekend of the 4th of July, the major holiday, the summer holiday. So uh, I really want you guys to come out. If you have guests coming in town, if you have some girlfriends coming in town, hey, bring them the wonderful prayer. You'll be done by 1030. It's from 9 until 1030. And we just start the month off in prayer. And trust me, we never, ever cancel. We will have it for the holiday weekend. As a matter of fact, last year, do you know wonderful prayer was on July 4th? It was on the holiday, and it was one of the largest prayer meetings we've ever had. So I just give God all of the glory and all of the honor for that. So yes, make sure you plan to join us on July 2nd. So uh, today, our new season began. Today was the summer solstice. And um, if you know, if you want to know about the revelation the Lord gave me on that, you can go on my Facebook page, like my page, Wonderful Prayer, and then you can send me a friend request on my Angela Martin page. And we have the videos, a uh, little video of uh, the, the scripture, uh, Psalms 84 and 11. That's where the text came from for that revelation for the new season. And so you can see that there. And it's also on YouTube. So I want you to get that full explanation and revelation on the summer solstice and our scripture for this month, which is Psalms 84 and 11. So check that out. We always back everything up with the word of God. OK, so check that out. So uh, this is what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. So we're now now we're in our new season, the season of summer. And I want to talk to you about naming your season. It's a new season for you as well. And if you uh, define or you look up any season, you look up winter, summer, spring, fall, they will actually, that uh, the definition of the season is the season. Yeah. So if you look up winter, it'll say the coldest time of the year. If you look up summer, it'll say the warmest time of the year. Uh, so name your season. Whatever you name it is what it will be. So whatever you want your season to be, this new season that we're coming into, I want you to name that. So let's just do that tonight before you retire for the evening. What is your next season going to be for you? Uh, it could be a new season of health or a new season of financial freedom, or it could be a new season for you personally uh, for peace. Do you know how many people would just love to have a season of rest and peace in their lives? So your new season could be whatever you want it to be, but it's up, it's up to you to name it and define it. 
So let's do that tonight. So come on, you guys, define your season. What is this next season in your life going to be? If you are single, perhaps you can say it's going to be my season of love. If you are um, without employment right now, you can say it could be your new season of a new career or check this out. Maybe you won't have a new career. Maybe you'll be a business owner. It could be a season for your business. Maybe you won't have a boss. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> if you say it's going to be that, it can be that. Absolutely. Your season of promises fulfilled. That's beautiful. Everything new, like it. Financial freedom, a season of prosperity, a season of transformation. Beautiful. A season of genuine love. Great. A season of financial overflow. Awesome. Restoration. That's beautiful. A season of restoration, health and wealth. A season of abundance. I like that. I really like that. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see. A season of very hard work. That swoo! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so glad I saw your name. Oh, I love you so much. Hey, swoo! So you want a season of more work, more opportunities, uh, more travel for you. I love that because I know you love what you do. And really with you, Swo, it's really not work for you because you love it and it's your gift. So congratulations. We're going to claim that for you. A season of wealth. I love you more, Swo. I love you more. A season of signs, wonders, and miracles. I love that. Awesome. Divine health and abundant favor. That is great. A season of fearlessness. Do you know how crippling fear is? When you get fear out of your life, your seasons, your life will flow with favor and blessing and everything else you need when you get that fear out of there. A season of hope, good health, new career. Awesome. So your season is what you want it to be. Whatever you call it, whatever you name it, that is what it is. New clients. Awesome. Travel. You want to travel in your business. A season of traveling. Awesome. Uh, not in the area of me without the base. Oh, okay. Okay. So without the base. Okay. Season of double portion. Oh, I love that. Season of double portion. Awesome. A season of love, peace, wealth, and health. That covers it all. Doesn't it? That covers it all. Season of abundance. Absolutely. Season of promotion and prosperity. Beautiful. So name your season. Define your season and call call that thing into existence, into manifestation in your life. A season of souls for my family. Saving souls, amen. A season of salvation. That's beautiful. A season of salvation. Friendship relationships, I think I saw. So yeah, so make sure you guys, we, we slipped into the new season today. So spiritually and personally, you slip into it as well, okay? A new season in your life. I love y'all so much. Just wanted to share that with you because we're in it now. So let's just expect it. Every morning, let's expect it. And remember, I have more money than I've ever had in my life. Make sure you continue to confess that thing. And I promise you, you're going to see it. Remember, it's all up to you. It's all according to your faith. If you say that with faith, you'll get it. If you say that with skepticism, chances are it won't happen for you. But say it in faith. Well, hi, Tadella. Say whatever you say uh, as far as what you want. Make sure you say it in faith. Not in skepticism, not in doubt, not in unbelief. Say it in faith. What you think your thoughts and your words have to match. You can't say one thing and think another. That thing has to match and line up. I am getting testimonies from all over the country, not even just Chicago, of people reaching out to me saying they are having more money than they've ever had in their lives. And I decree and declare that for you as well. I love y'all. You know I do. I'll be on Scope tomorrow again. I'll check in, okay? Swole, I love you. <laughs> And to all of you that uh, joined me tonight, thanks for joining in the scope. And uh, remember, we slipped into it, you guys, your new season. Kisses to you. Love y'all so much. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night. Sweet rest to you.
want you to wake up tomorrow refreshed and ready for a new day. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.